much time can you spend? Eh, you're traveling too fast to learn much. Right now I'm in the process of revising the Declaration of Independence. This money system's all gonna come crashing down sooner or later, you know. The Antichrist. He's the one that's gonna come and he's gonna appear to be like a dream. Financially, the economy, he's gonna fix that. And he's gonna be president. That's one of the messages the Blessed Mother left. A thousand orgasms combined with being back in the womb. And then my retina fell off my eye. I set out to interview everyone in America. I figured it'd take me about a month. <laughs> 10 years and 317,000 miles later, I'm still trying to figure out what happened. My name is Ginger Reynolds, and I live in the nicest place on the face of this earth, Mountain View, Arkansas. I'm an outdoors person. I'm an avid deer hunter and a turkey hunter. <laughs> of one shot last year. <laughs> two big males came in together and it's very rare for two big males to come in together, but they did. One had a nine and a half inch beard and one had a ten inch beard. About 40 pounds of bird. And I just got lucky. Got mine up just right and busted them. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even flop. <laughs> this here's the um, Dixie Darlings rendition of The Devil Went Down to Georgia. <laughs> I'll just play my part. <laughs> <laughs> like a really big one, you know, something like that. I do like prostate exams, but I do like really wicked prostate exams. This is, I have all these different instruments. I just had a rash all over my body, and the doctors did a biopsy and determined it was stress-related. I said, you had to do a biopsy to determine that. And then my heart went out on me. Doctors had to start giving me heart medicine. And then my retina fell off my eye. <laughs> I didn't really have much of a love life when I was in kindergarten. And then in first grade, I don't like no boys. I was mad. I was stuck up. I stayed stuck up. After what I've been through, I hate boys. I hate men. I hate all of them. Mainly because my daddy. He's a real jerk. Okay, his brother lives up the block, right? And they have the same father and different mothers. But their father was the same way. The father is very abusive towards their mothers. And the brother is that way too, because he used to go with my older sister when she was down here, and he used to hit her too. I just need Prozac, Lipo, and an SUV, and then I can worry about saving the planet. <laughs> <laughs> I drive an ambulance, not an SUV. But it is a car that gets 13 miles to the gallon. You multiply that times 317,000 miles, how did I end up Exxon's most valued customer? <laughs> right now I'm in the process of revising the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> I go straight up to the gate and I stare at that animal and the huddled masses yearning to break free from my mind cry out to miracle. Jesus is gonna come and he's gonna separate the lambs from the goats! <laughs> my buffalo has been born in Wisconsin. It's AIDS out here. You got cable, you're all right. He never used it on these soldiers. You end up with war zones in Chapman. I killed two daughters with one shot last year. And you're gonna have the boats over here, and you're gonna have the lambs over there. You said you're crap, but you ain't nothing but a white boy. I think that's almost like a gene type thing. It was one big, large family. I have 30 sons. I still sleep with my mama. Your mom's all skinny. She hang glide on the Dorito. Tibble, shut up. Possibly a tattoo at this time. <laughs> she said it's not about the belief, baby. It's 
about the believers. 